a world where companies could provide smaller, cheaper, and safer nuclear energy solutions in order to continue pushing forward our communities. And that is exactly the idea behind nuclear, uh, nanonuclear energy, rather. In fact, joining us right now is the founder for the organization, JU, and the CEO for nanonuclear, James Walker. Hi, guys. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much for having us. Yeah, absolutely. And I know that everybody's talking about nuclear energy and there's a lot of momentum, a lot of energy, if you will, right? So what makes Nano different from the other companies? I, I think what really set us apart is that um, whereas a lot of reactor concepts start in, say, um, uh, from an academic standpoint of view or um, wanting to flesh out um, theoretical ideas, so we started principally from analyzing the market and, and working out where the largest market would potentially be. And we didn't, we didn't even start with just nuclear. We, we actually started considering all options. So wind, solar, um, large nuclear, small nuclear. Um, and what we quickly realized that nuclear had to be part of the solution for a start. Mm -hmm. um, the capacity factor for nuclear was you know, way more efficient um, and, and able to supply that base load than the other renewables that were being considered. Um, and the small, um, the, the small power sources looked to be the much larger market. So um, when, you were, when we began looking at um, where the, a small reactor could be deployed, so tens of thousands of um, uh, mining sites in remote locations, um, desalination plants, medical facilities in areas where it's removed from um, uh, the, the national grid, uh, remote communities, uh, remote industrial projects, remote oil and gas, uh, military bases, disaster relief areas, mobile charging stations. Um, when we realized that the market was potentially infinite, is we, mm -hmm. this is really where we, we came at the problem. And um, that's where, you know, Jay's good networking came in and we reached out to what, what I believe is the, the best scientists in the world to um, give them this problem. We wanted a small modular reactor that could be very easily shipped by conventional transportation infrastructure. Um, keep the design very simple. That was the modus operandi, and um, and we went from there. And Jay brought yeah. in, I think, the two best technical teams. Uh, well, we believe in the world. So, and it is on wheels. We just saw the picture. And Jay, the state of what's going on right now, green energy. I believe it's a you know everybody's seeking for that next big thing. Do you see this moving that way? This is possibly what we're going to see in the future. Sure. Uh, uh, the uh, main reason why I decided to uh, create nanonuclear energy was the thesis on green energy, green infrastructure. Uh, so uh, I think over a year ago, Larry Fink, the chairman and CEO of BlackRock, uh, said the next thousand unicorns aren't social media companies or search engine. It's green hydrogen, green energy, and green cement companies that are going to change the world and, and make humanity uh, a better place um, for, for the earth. So that was the thesis, and and you know it, it kind of stumbled upon us this design of what we're doing now. But when we're looking at it to reinforce what James said, we we didn't know we were going to do this. Um, but after meeting these these nuclear scientists and and understanding from a business and commercial standpoint, we had to move in this direction because the total addressable market for uh, a portable, you could say, nuclear battery is enormous. Um, for example, Africa is a poster child. There's no uh, infrastructure, electrical infrastructure across the continent. So you'll be able to disrupt and bring energy to remote habitations, and then it could allow for desalination, building of hospitals. Literally, it's like James said, endless, the, the possibilities. Mm -hmm. And you guys are definitely, you know, trying to change the world with new energy and, you know, green energy, if you will. Where can people find out more information and even partake in, you know, joining you in this journey? Uh, yeah, they could just visit us and, and um, at nanonuclearenergy.com. We constantly put up, you know, editorial pieces uh, and also our social media. We have a cult following on Twitter. Uh, I think what happened recently was, you know, Elon Musk is a big nuclear fan and mm -hmm. a, a pro pro nuclear person. And every time he tweets something, we kind of cover it. And I remember one day we retweeted um, 
something he, he said about nuclear. And I said, imagine a reactor Zeus powering 50 of your Teslas. You know, that's disruption wow. right there. And that's where I think we, by default, I think a few thousand of their, you know, his followers came over to our side. So Im imagine that, right? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, guys. And I hope to see your, you know, your reactor or Zeus, right? That's yes, Zeus, that's Zeus. the god of thunder, yes. Yes, the <laughs> god of thunder. We hope to see Zeus, you know, making a difference in our world and our communities in the near future. Thank you again for being with us. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much.